In a world where the dead walk the earth, you must fight to survive. Build, craft, and defend. Cage 848 presents 7 Days to Die. Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to my new Let's Play for 7 Days to Die. This is going to be Alpha 6. That's right, Alpha 6 is finally out. So this is going to be Season 6, and it's going to be Episode 1. Now, uh, there's a couple things I'm going to do in the beginning of this Let's Play. First of all, I'm going to try hard to teach newbies how to play. Uh, for some of you veterans, that might be a little bit old hat. But, um, you know, you got to understand, there might be some new people watching this Let's Play. And I, I kind of want to teach them the basics of the game as best as I can. Um, and the second thing is, I'm going to go through some of the updates, but I, I'm, you know, I'm only going to get to a few of the of the high points. So if you want to see the official Alpha 6 release notes, you can go to 7 daystodiecom and check them all out, but uh, I'll go through some of the highlights as I play. Now, we are going to play Survival, Navis Gain, Season 6, Nomad. I upped it to 40 minutes instead of the original 30. Um, give me another 5 minutes a day, 5 minutes a night. Friendly Fire is off. I don't know why I changed that. I just did. Enemy spawning is fine. Zombie run. I want the zombies to run at night. Or walk, run at night and walk during the day. Um, and the rest of this stuff is just BS. There's this thing right here called NAT punch through. Nat punch through. It, it uses automatic nat traversal. I have no idea what that is. But it started as enabled. So I'm going to leave it as enabled. And page 2 is cheat mode which is off. So let's start this bad boy up. So, yeah, uh, we got here coming next, uh, stealth system, knockback, smooth terrain, uh, zombie wake system, I guess zombies like start off on the ground and maybe get up and come at you, improved pathing, uh, which will be nice, and new locations, which will be pretty cool. Uh, for those of you new to this game, uh, this is, this is Seven Days to Die, it's a, it's a, um, uh, open world voxel based zombie survival game and uh, I'll teach you as best I can but uh, I have a lot of people who watch my videos repeatedly and uh, I can't go over too much of the, the new stuff um, first thing I want to show you is the inventory on items is different for everything the car has a huge inventory they also have a take all button which is R and right here you see on a body much smaller inventory um, I am going to take rocks for a very specific reason that we'll get into later. Uh, backpacks, very small inventory. Uh, garbage. And another backpack. We've got some bullets. Let's, uh, let's grab some, some grass here. Basically, now what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm punching the grass. But you can't really tell because uh, it's not showing my arm for some reason. Also, the game sound might be a little off. Um, they actually messed around with the game sound a little bit. So I might have to uh, adjust that as needed. I'm gonna punch this guy to death. I really need to get a melee weapon as soon as possible, but for now this will do. You can loot zombies. All right, get some more sticks. Now there's a new function that if you hold down the E button, it sucks up everything in the area. And uh, I do not want to be fighting these zombies, so I'm gonna get out of here. And uh, we need to head this way. I'm gonna be on the run a little bit until I get away from some of these zombies. It's just the way it's gotta be. I'd love to kill that pig, but I wouldn't be able to. Nope, oh, we got some blueberry bushes here. There we go. Pick up some blueberries. We'll eat, we'll wait. We'll save those. Uh, basically, you can make blueberries, corn, potatoes, stuff like that, into seeds, and then you can actually farm in this game, and it's 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 actually quite fun. So, we're gonna come up to this car and loot this bad boy. Still no guns yet. That's not a good sign. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, we should get some of these trees while we're here. These are pretty small trees. Um, when you knock trees down, they basically give you more wood the taller they are, obviously, like they would in real life. So, I'm going to actually wait for some taller trees, like this one right here. And there's a little cheap thing you could do. You can punch out the dirt underneath it, which is kind of cheap, but I'm going to do it now just because I'm in a hurry and I really don't have time to be punching down a tree. It actually takes quite a bit longer to punch down trees in this game than it does in like games like Minecraft. Alright, so watch this. You hold down E, and it just sucks everything up. Alright, guys? I mean, that alone makes this update awesome. I mean, come on. Let's, you know, let's face it. That's like... I mean, how long have we been wanting that? And, you know, like in Minecraft, if you walk over stuff, you automatically pick it up. I think holding down E to suck up stuff is even better. Because you don't always want to pick stuff up, you know? 
All right, so we're going to continue along here. Check the garbage bag because I'm getting desperate for stuff. Um, okay, so yeah, for you newbies, this is a this is a voxel-based um, survival. Uh, it's it's going to be an RPG. Also, you're going to have like levels and stuff. Um, right now, that's not in the game though. This is in super early alpha. This is obviously the alpha six update of the game, and uh, it's starting to become it's becoming a lot more polished. I started in alpha one, and uh, it's the polish is starting to really come along. So, I'm quite happy about that. Uh, the map right here is 33% larger than Alpha 5, and you've got a new snow biome up here, and you've got some new things to the game, and uh, I'm just going to keep moving though because I don't want zombies to be getting me. So we're going to run along here. Um, for, uh, again, for the new players, uh, this if you've ever played Minecraft, the uh, crafting system in this game is, is kind of like Minecraft. Um, you have a big crafting grid, and at first you have to like guess the recipes, but once you've once you've done a recipe once, the name of the recipe turns green, and at that point, all you have to do is hit the name of the recipe, and you will automatically make, you know, what, what you're trying to make. And I will show you that once uh, I have to craft something. <clears throat> the hell was that? What was that? Okay, hold on, si getting sidetracked here. I think I know what that was. All right, so there's new. There's new areas in the game called uh, military areas, and they have landmines around them, uh, I've been told, and that's one of them. I, I'm sorry, guys, but I don't really want to do this. I don't have the firepower to mess with these zombies, but okay, I can see the landmines. Oh! <laughs> can I take these? Yes, I can. Sweet, let's take them before the zombies blow them all up. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, look at this place. This is cool. Alright, now, the only reason I came in here is because there's probably going to be some sweet guns in here. Um, oh. Oh, barbed wire fence. Barbed wire fence. Shoot. Where's the guns? Alright, we got to get out of here. Yeah, this is... Guys, I'm sorry, but this is too hot for me. I'll come back at a later date. Just, I don't have what it takes to, you know, get in there, so. Whew, that was pretty cool, though, man. I'm going to have to remember that. That's, uh, where is that? That's right there. Okay. I'll have to remember that. I'll have to hit that at some point. Um, so anyway, for, again, getting back to the, uh, to the newbies. Um, yeah, so basically, this game, the loot in this game, the whole idea of the loot reminds me a lot of Fallout 3. Like, there's just a lot of loot everywhere. There's not like <laughs> you hear that. There's not like loot that like laying all over the place in Fallout 3, but it's like they're all in containers. But there's a lot of loot, and it's important that you get it. Um, and it, it's kind of like Minecraft with the crafting and the voxel-based thing. And uh, you know, the survive it has some survivability issues at night. Um, I'll go over some of the base mechanics right now. If you look in the bottom left-hand side of my screen, you can see right here the little mini map over there. And that mini map, uh, well, the mini map um, has. Ooh, what are those? Oh, bullet casings. That's interesting. Um, it has four little gauges around it. The, t the top left hand gauge is my food meter. The bottom left hand gauge is my thirst meter. The top right hand gauge is my health. And the bottom right hand gauge is my stamina. Um, you have to eat and drink. Uh, if your food gets low enough, you will die. If your if your thirst gets low enough, you will have like no stamina. Stamina you use stamina for things like sprinting. Like a lot of times, right now I'm sprinting. You hold down shift to sprint, and uh, that will fill up slower, and it won't fill up as much if you are um, if you have no stamina. So, and I think you can also die from thirst. You didn't used to be able to die from thirst, but I think you might be able to die from thirst now. I'm not 100% positive on that one. Come on. Those freaking rocks. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, right now, I'm just uh, looting up, and I'm going to find... Basically, what I do is I find base of operations in an area that I want to loot, and that way I can just, like... I have a place where I can stay while I loot up the area, and, uh, and then I'm going to decide on a base of operations to live in. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to live yet, but a couple of the places I want to, I want to like have base of operations at, I call them outposts, are going to be places like, here, check this out, places like Dyersville, Gravetown, 
and this some of these places over here there's an actual ghost town down here that's brand new i'm definitely going to check that out at some point um yeah so all right so yeah i'm trying to think of what else i can tell you newbies oh okay day night cycle top left hand side day one it's 1300 hours that's basically one o'clock and uh you know the zombies in this game during the daylight are completely slow and easy to deal with but once it's nighttime and it's not a day night cycle thing it's more of a darkness light type of thing so um once it's once it gets dark out they will become super fast and super aggressive and you really want to be like hidden somewhere uh before that happens i can't oh okay. i was gonna say i can't believe i haven't found a gun yet but i have and the gun the, the, this is a pistol it takes nine millimeter bullets the bullets have to be on your hot bar for you to reload the gun and for those of you who have been playing this game for a while, they no longer use clips. Back in the day, it, this gun holds 12 rounds, I think. And if you had six rounds and you reloaded, you would lose those six rounds because it would use one whole clip. Like, kind of like in real life, if you were to pull a clip out of a gun, you would lose those six rounds. Um, unless you put them in another clip, but, you know, semantics. Um, that's changed. You now reload them by bullets, which uh, makes things a lot uh, easier. You can, you can actually reload earlier. You don't have to actually... Uh, empty the entire clip if you don't want to lose anything. So that's pretty sweet. And right here, this is just a lot of looting, and that's what I'm going to be doing for a while here. Uh, so let's get upstairs. Alright, now they c if the zombies come up here, it is dark out, so they can actually uh, move pretty quickly. So, um, first of all, we're going to take some of our pine wood. We're going to make some wood... Oh, God, you're going to be kidding me. All right, now I just made a bunch of noise, so the rest of the zombies are going to be coming up here. So let's just get up on the roof and do some crafting, and I'll show you some of the crafting of the game. I'm probably just going to stay uh, in this area for the night, because it's actually not a bad looting area. So, All right, so let's just stay up here. All right, so here's the crafting menu, and these are new crafting options that are in yellow. I'm not quite sure what the yellow means. Uh, I don't really think it means anything. It's just kind of like keeps these in our own separate like box area but these are the ones you want to be looking at the white ones okay and basically if if uh, something is white it's because you haven't crafted it yet like right here i've already crafted wood planks normally that would be white but once you once you uh like let's say you want to make wood planks okay i want to make wood planks okay well one item goes in the middle you know it's wood so you go ahead and make some wood planks now the next thing we're going to want to make is plywood okay now plywood it shows you what part you need to make the plywood well what's plywood made out of well it's made out of wood wood planks yes plywood now that plywood should be green now so anytime you want to make what well, it's not green because we don't have any wood planks all right now we have wood planks the the, I, the recipe won't show up unless you have the proper crafting items in your in your inventory so right now we have plywood we could just click this plywood over and over and over and it'll just make as much plywood as we want but we don't want to make that plywood right now what we want to do is do some inventory consolidation um right here these rocks you saw me picking up if you put those in the middle of the screen they turn into stone and then basically what you could do is you could find the little stone thing it's green now and just click that over and over it'll take all the rocks out of your inventory and give you stone okay now i would really like a melee weapon i don't i can't think of one that i can make right now I know there is one, I just can't think of it. Let's see if we got any melee weapons we can make. We can make the spiked club. We can make the wooden club. Um, it looks like that's about it. Stone stairs. Yeah, let's go ahead and make the. Uh, let's go ahead and make the spiked club. So that's sticks in the middle. And what's around the outside? Probably scrap iron. No. Maybe the sticks go all the way up to the top. There we go. Now we got ourselves a spike club. Spike club's pretty pretty decent. And melee weapons aren't really to save bullets, per se. They're more uh, to keep silent so the zombies don't, you know, overrun you. All right. Oh, we never made the torch. Okay. That's fine. Let's go ahead and make a torch. Now, there's a lot of different things you can make torches out of. I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm just going to use brown grass to make uh, eight torches. I just happen to know this is a recipe. So there we go. So you put torches on the walls, so if the zombies do come up here, they are not fast. 
And now we're going to come down here and beat them in the face. Spike club, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to loot this zombie. Alright, zombies are good loot, but if you get into a point where you're having trouble looting one, don't stand there all day. It's, they're not really worth it that much. Can pick up that potted plant. That thing just fell. That's not good. We can actually break this apart for nothing. That stuff used to drop uh, scrap iron. I guess I guess the railings don't drop anything anymore. Alright, fair enough. You know what? We should finish looting this place. What we'll do is what we'll do is we'll loot this entire building. And then we'll put a block outside symbolizing that it's looted. And that way we know not to go in there again. We'll loot it from the top down. So let's go to the very top. Now, the zomb it gets nighttime and the zombies will start getting rowdy at 2100 hours. So we don't really have a ton of time to loot. But, oh, flashlights are useless. Also, I don't want to loot paper. Okay. E-R, E-R. That's what you want to do. That was a bird's nest, by the way, in case you didn't see that. E R E R. All right, the top is looted. Let's come down here. This is going to take actually quite a long time to loot. Um, my last let's play, I asked people if they wanted me to show if they wanted me to show them looting like this all the time, and uh, I was surprised to find that yes, they did. They actually want me to show looting, so, you know, if you guys get bored of the looting at any point, just let me know, and I could always do some of it off camera. It's not really a big deal, but uh, I'll try and think of interesting stuff to talk about while I'm looting. All right, so we don't have any room for anything else, so let's go ahead and eat this. Eat this. Uh, what else can we do here? We can... Can we consolidate anything? No. All right, what we're going to do here is, uh, it's actually getting a little bit late. I think we're going to be stuck in here for the night. So what we're going to do is, we're going to break the bottom part of this ladder. And zombies can climb ladders, so this is going to make it a little bit harder for them to climb the ladder. Um, they could still possibly climb it, but it'll just make it, you know, a little bit more difficult for them to climb it. I'm going to need some blueberries. Ugh, that really doesn't give you much back at all. Uh, do I have any... I don't have any... I don't have any water. How is that possible? All right, well, this is a way you can get water. I do have glass jars, and I happen to know there's a toilet over here. And just like Fallout 3, I'm going to go ahead and get some toilet water. Uh, we have another five glass jars. That's cool. That'll last me a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and break. finish breaking this. There we go. Now they can still climb up the ladder, but they'll have to like jump on each other's heads, and it's it's a little bit more difficult for them. And another thing you could do to make it difficult is break the top part of the ladder, because once they get up here, they, they could have a hard time uh, making that jump. And as a final thing, put stone right there. Should be pretty good. And if they do get up, we will put some torches around here. So they will be nice and slow. All right. Um, we should, probably shouldn't have put that stone there. Because now that I think about it, we probably should go downstairs and loot more. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually... Uh, I'm just going to drop some stuff in here really quick. Well, One thing about my videos, guys, uh, for those of you who might be watching for the first time, I don't like to do inventory management on video because it's just kind of boring. Um, but for this... I, I'm going to be doing this pretty quickly, so I will just do it this one time. But I'm not going to do it often. I'm just trying to decide what to put away. You know, stuff I know I'm not going to need. Uh, I'm not going to need this. Where's that shotgun? There it is. Okay. Now let's see what we can craft here. All right, there's a very specific thing I want to craft. Um, in this game, there is two types of weapons, as far as I, uh, two types of tools, as far as I know. Like in Minecraft, you have like stone or wood, stone, iron, you know, and so on. In this one, there's only two. There used to be only one. There only used to be iron. Now there's a new one called stone. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take your stone that you've been collecting and you're going to take a couple. Actually, you don't really need a couple. You only need one. And you're going to turn them into small rocks. Then you're going to take the small rocks and you're going to take one and you're going to turn it into a sharpened stone. All right, now that you have that sharpened stone and sticks, you still need one more thing. And this is what was confusing me. But you actually need plant fibers. And plant fibers in this game are basically the, basically the equivalent of 
of uh, rope. So you need rope to tie your weapon together, your item. So we're going to make a stone axe. And this is my first time making this, so um, bear with me here. I'd imagine it would be one of each. There we go. Stone axe. That's a little bit simplified. They need to make that a little bit more... First of all, it should use more stuff. Maybe only one stone, but maybe a few more sticks and a few more plant fibers. But there we go. We got a stone axe. And the stone axe is a very nice basic, you know... Um, it's a nice basic uh, thing to just start breaking stuff with. Uh, I think there's another one we can do. I think there was a, a stone pickaxe, maybe? Let me see. Let me see what we got here. I think there's a I think this is an axe, and then I think there's a stone pickaxe. Storage of stone stairs, wood shingles. Huh. No, I guess it's just that one. I don't know what this is for though. Like Is this for Yeah, it's not that bad. It's pretty good for using stone. Uh, did I not get that back? Oh, you don't get... I didn't get that stone back? Like, really? That's... That kind of... Wait. I must be doing something wrong. Because there's no way I shouldn't have got that piece back. Alright, whatever. Let's keep looting. While we have time. Um, I'm going to try and solidify this as best I can. So let's go ahead and take some stone. I don't want to have to stay upstairs the whole time. So let's go ahead and sit, put some stone down. Now at night, even though the zombies are really rowdy and kind of like cause a bunch of headaches, um, if they don't know you're here, I think they kind of are a little bit more relaxed. So I'm hoping they won't know I'm up here. But uh, just in case I do have to go upstairs, uh, I'm going to loot up down here first. And this is a new item called a, a medicine cabinet. And that actually usually has cloth fragments, bandages, or um, pain pills. But those bandages are going to be really nice. Now I can heal myself if I need to. All right, we got a safe. That's good. We'll grab the plant. Grab the desk. Can we take that chair? Oh, we can take the chair now? Sweet. I won't take the chair, but I could if I wanted to. Take this. All right, we got some blueberry pie in here. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's loot this up. Oh, boy. We're kind of full again. Um, nope. Do this. There we go. Now, there might be another one over there. Let's knock this one out. Yep, there is another one. I knew it. Can't hide from me. Um, all right. We're going to have to do some serious inventory management. Uh, we could probably drink this. All right. Now I'm debating on whether I want to do inventory management and then keep this video going, or if I want to get it, or if I want to just like play out the next couple minutes and then I uh, do another video. I'm kind of torn. I kind of want to make a longer video, but uh, at the same time, I want to get this video up as soon as possible. And I definitely am going to make two videos today. Alpha, the Alpha Six just, just dropped yesterday, and I want to get a, I want to get a couple of videos done. So I'm actually going to make this a 20 minute video. Uh, for those of you who are watching my last season's Let's Play, I was making my videos very long at the end, and uh, I was doing that for a reason because I wanted to get as much done as I could before the next update dropped. But um, I'm not going to do that in the beginning of this one. But Fear not, I will be making lots of videos of this, so that is not going to be a concern of yours. Alright, so there we go. Alright, let's see if we can craft anything else here. A uh, sleeping bag? Oh, let me put my sleeping bag down. Okay, so sleeping bags are spawn points. Once you put one down, I will now spawn here if I die. And uh, actually, let me put another stone... Eh, I'm not going to put a stone thing there, unless they start climbing up. Alright, so let's see what else we can make here. Sleeping bag, boarded windows. Boarded windows are awesome. We'll get into that later. Um, campfires. There's a new recipe for campfires. It's small rocks like this with pine wood in the middle. There we go. There's campfires. I'm not going to make any right now, but I just wanted to show you guys the recipe. Uh, wooden club, cobblestone, crossbow. We can make a crossbow already. We should probably make a crossbow. Let's go make a crossbow. For those of you who don't know the crossbow, it sticks in the middle. Uh... The plant fibers are across here. That's the string. And I think I think it's actually all sticks. Yeah, there you go. Alright, it sounds like the zombies are causing a ruckus down there, so let's block this up. 
All right, so now we got a crossbow. So now we need to make crossbow bolts for their crossbow. And that... Okay, here's a flying enemy. Give me a second, guys. I can hear it. There are flying enemies in this game, guys. They're basically giant mutated hornets. And I know I can hear one. I just don't know where it is. Alright, I'm not going to worry about it because I don't know where it is. Alright, so let's get back to the crossbow. Alright, so we got the crossbow bolt. That is uh, feathers on the end. Sticks in the middle. And stones on the tip. And we're going to make a few of these because they're actually pretty good. And we'll put the crossbow bolt down here. Melee weapon, healing. There we go. That's the setup I like. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What's this? Crossbow bolt. There we go. So we got a loud killing weapon. We got the silent killing weapon. We got the melee silent killing weapon. We got bandages for healing. We got a stone axe. Bullets and crossbows uh, all have to be on the hotbar for you to reload. And that's a nice setup. So let's see what else we can craft. Uh, scrap iron door, wood door, forge. Okay, let's go ahead and make the forge. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to make the forge next video, guys. Just because once I make the forge, I'm going to get into it. So uh, let's wait on that. Ladders, log cabin, wood, paper. I can make shotguns and stuff? Pump shotgun with two pieces? That doesn't sound right. How can I make a... Sh it says I can make a pump shotgun at... I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, storage chest. Okay. All right. Nothing really new there. So, all right. My uh, timer went off a couple, like a minute ago. So I'm actually going to call this video here. When I come back, the first thing we're going to do is start messing around with the forge. So that's going to be it for episode one. I'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.